This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of NRE Secrets, I'm going to be addressing some of those YouTube comments about me. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Today's video is a little bit different. I, as you may or may not know, I get piles and piles of YouTube comments. Um, for the most part, they're pretty supportive, very thoughtful, respectful comments, which I oh so appreciate. But not all of them are. Some of them are a little bit confusing. So I wanted to address a few of those and, you know, give my say, my sort of two cents, maybe set the record straight. So here's the first comment, uh, which many people have claimed, I look like Dean Ambrose. First, who is Dean Ambrose? Just sir, turns out that he's a wrestler, and hmm, definitely not a wrestler. Here's a picture of him up here. Do I look like him? Yeah, I don't quite see it. Mm, I don't really see the resemblance. Apparently, a number of YouTubers do. Wow. So just to set the record straight, I'm not Dean Ambrose, not related to Dean Ambrose. Didn't know who he was until I took the time to look him up on Google. The next comment, which I've seen frequently, has been, Oh, he looks gay. He sounds gay. Uh, fortunately, many of you as subscribers have and have commented on that and responded to it, such as the couple who, people who have there, such as focus on the topic. Secondly, why in the first place are you even commenting? So, first of all, what do I have to say to that? I'm not gay. But if I were gay, I would say to you, the ignorant heterosexual who's choosing to comment in the first place, why are you even bother commenting? And if you are choosing to comment, why don't you take a little bit of time to educate yourself? Hmm. Then maybe you wouldn't be commenting in the first place. My ultimate sort of goal there is I just ignore. There's a whole lot of people out there that and whether or not commenting is or good, for the most part, I think it is good. But we're able to comment in anonymity and they have some pseudonym out there. So you don't really know who they are. And hence, you get some of those disrespectful, idiotic comments such as that. Um, and my, you know, big point that I'm trying to make here is that, one, I do a really good job of ignoring those comments because they really don't have any validity to them. Two, it's, it says much more about the person commenting and then it does, does about, you know, whatever they're commenting on. And third, like, can you just grow up? So here's another comment that I have had a number of times fairly recently. Comments about my hair. This guy's hair is ridiculous. Great. Really? So first of all, here's a few clips of, you know, when my hair was long and um, been kind of rushed, so I was working all day, I've been doing a whole pile of renovations, would zoom into the shower so I'd shower off drywall and God knows what else, so I could have, just be able to actually film a video for YouTube. So here, here are some of, some of those videos. So Pippi loves to eat stuff, she loves to get into stuff. She's gonna be a great example for me to use as far as to show you what you need to be aware of because if someone's gonna get into something, it's gonna be Pippi. Just why not? So, is it safe to let your dog eat stuff <laughs> of the kitchen floor? Yes, my hair was long, but once again, obviously this speaks much more about the person commenting than it does about the person delivering the message. Really? Is that even important at all? And many of you have uh, remarked the very same thing. Doesn't matter. Pretty much 95% of the comments that I get are pretty darn supportive, thoughtful. It's you pet owners who have, you know, specific questions and concerns about your pets and you're wanting some help with it that doesn't require a cost, meaning going to see a veterinarian or you have some questions around some of the alternative natural health suggestions that have been given in the videos. And that's what you're asking me, which I so appreciate. And then on top of that, not only do I appreciate that, you know, these thoughtful, respectful questions, um, I appreciate if I even say something controversial that you don't necessarily agree with, great, tell me you don't agree with it. I don't expect, first of all, I don't know everything, as one person never should, 
some of what I have to say. You're not going to agree with all of it, nor am I going to agree with all of you know what you have to say. Tell me that. I, I love to hear that, but in a respectful, thoughtful way. I mean, there's a couple ways to communicate. You can be pretty unthoughtful, pretty disrespectful, you know, shameful, or you can uh, use your words, kind of what you're trying to teach, how to teach five-year-olds to communicate with. And I so appreciate those comments. On top of that, just plain old thank you, you're great, Dr. Jones comments. Of course, I like those too. So here's, there's so many of you out that are pretty regular commenters that, you know, in all the different videos I've posted, will comment on those and give me some pretty positive words of support. So here's some of those right now. So thank you, Chinook Valley. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Sue7231. And lastly, for those of you who know or don't know of my story, um, by all means, watch the video on why I'm not practicing now uh, as a practicing small animal veterinarian, in which I had been practicing for nearly 20 years. Um, I, you know, chose to resign, losing my ability to practice veterinary medicine uh, based on my convictions around what I felt was right and not right and, you know, the fines that were levied against me. Uh, and so more than anything, I really value those of you who, who have watched that section of the video, kind of get that story and have commented on that too and kind of get sort of where I'm coming from. Um, regardless, thanks you guys for watching this video. Thank you for being a subscriber and, you know, keep those positive or at least thoughtful, respectful comments coming. I sure appreciate them all.